So we're just trying to get dash cam footage. The police have also done number recognition, so people have had letters that were here. So hopefully with us being out in force today, the number plate recognition, we do get some information that we vitally need. Yeah, the police said earlier this week that they have contacted 700 drivers of vehicles that crossed over this area that day on Friday the 27th of January. And your hope today is that perhaps just somebody wasn't aware that they could have some vital information. Yeah, I mean, of all, all, the, all the media would wonder how they haven't seen the story, but absolutely, so the might just come through the village every two weeks. So just anything, we, we just need something to, to go on. Uh, obviously, it's important that you can stay strong and, and be able to, to do these interviews to try yeah. and make sure that we don't forget what's happened here at St yeah. Michael's on wire. But how are you? What's keeping us strong is obviously Nikki and Paul's children and my own children. We have to be resilient for them. Um, obviously, they're aware mummy's missing. But if we all crumble and we're giving no hope to them, aren't we? And we still have that hope that Nikki's out there because we have no news. This is such a small community, small village school. Uh, where Nikki and Paul's children attended, yeah. they were dropped off that morning. Uh, you still have contact with them. How are they coping? Yeah, when they get home from school, we're asking Daddy the same question. Any news? And Daddy sadly has to say no. And, and Paul said he can just see them sort of deflate. Um, but kids are resilient. They, they, they've got hope. They see Mummy's picture everywhere. They say everyone's out looking for the Mummy. And we just want to bring them that news that we found Mummy and Mummy's coming home tonight to give you, put you to bed and give you those good night cuddles, which every Mummy should be doing. And just behind us, you can see some of the members of the community with these posters, a very clear picture of Nicola Bully's face, the day she went missing, and that number, asking people to call 101. 101, yeah, just for any information. And it is just driving that awareness that somebody might see, see her. She might not even be in St Michael's anymore, but wherever she is, just, just bring Nicky home. And how knowing that that search has extended towards the sea, that they just haven't been able to find any trace of, of Nicky in the river here? We have to cling on to that. That's good news. So we've had the police in there. We've had Peter and his amazing team that want to say thank you so much for giving their time and coming their way. So I think they're both singing from the same song sheet now that she's not actually in from, from, from the bench to the weir. We've categorically ruled out Nikki is not, not in there, which we've got to hold on to good news. And then you've got the theories behind that that are going into if a victim does go in and, and drowns, the, the hypothesis is that they said to stay where they're put. So, so we have to cling on to all these theories that I know but we're still wanting that bit of evidence. And then I suppose that goes into a slight bit of frustration that the police, the man to rescue, we've had Peter, we've had the community, we've had you guys all pulling together, working as a team, yet we still have no information. So that's where the frustration comes from. And when you work as hard as everyone needs to do it, we need a reward, and that would be Nikki. Well, let's 